Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hi, everybody. Happy holidays. I am so happy to be with you today. I am so excited to be here with you and I'm delighted that I get to spend this a little bit of time with you this week as you are making plans, celebrating, getting everything ready. And I know you're really busy, so I want to be really, really specific today about giving you a tool to help you if you are sick and tired of spending your holidays worrying about your body. How often do you do this? You get really anxious thinking about your body because maybe you're not where you want to be weight-wise. You haven't lost the weight you thought you would have this year. You maybe thought that you would be smaller and you're not, and it's making you feel really self-conscious. And so I want to really help you today because you do not have to worry. You do not need to continue to worry about your body, the shape of your body, the size of your body with your family members or whatnot. Suffering is optional. So before I get into that, I just want to remind you that this is my last Facebook Live on Wednesday. One of the things that if you watched or listened to my podcast, I should say listened to my podcast yesterday, one of the things that I shared with you is that I'm making some changes to my schedule. I shared with you that I'm going to be doing some things a little bit differently for 2022, looking at my personal goals, looking at where I want to spend my time navigating things. And so one of the things that I'm going to do is shift from having two podcasts a week to one. And so one of the things that I'm going to be doing is then moving to one podcast. And so this will be on my last Facebook Live on Wednesday. If you want to catch me on Wednesdays, then you're going to want to um, become a member of the Inner Circle so I can help you. And that's where I'm going to be doing coaching. I'm going to be doing coaching instead because what I have found is that so many of you who are coming on and joining and listening and whatnot are already members and I really want to be more face-to-face -face connected with you and coaching you, okay? I want that instead of being on Facebook, I want to be on Zoom and I want to be actually hearing your voice, talking to you and coaching you through any frustrations that you're having on Wednesdays. But for today, let's look at how... If you're sick and tired of spending the holidays feeling anxious, feeling self-conscious, let's look at this, okay? It doesn't have to be this way. There are two things that I want you to keep in mind when it comes to body transformation, when it comes to the quality of your life and having the life you want, you are what you believe in. So number one, you are what you believe in. What are you believing right now about your body, about what's possible, about the holidays, about how you feel about yourself? Okay. The second thing is you will always create what you believe. You will always create what you believe. Which is why when you're all excited and you're wanting to change your body and you're making adjustments and changes and focusing on it and tracking things and making it right, like that's when all of a sudden you're like, whoa, I'm seeing a difference. But when you're feeling badly about yourself, when you're feeling self-conscious, when you're feeling anxious, do you ever wonder why then you actually gain weight instead of lose weight? Because that anxiety, the worry, the fear can cloud the behaviors and the actions. So remember, one, you are what you believe, right? You are always, whatever you are thinking, you are creating. So if you believe you're broken, you're big, you deserve to suffer, that you look bad, that's how you're going to show up throughout the holiday season. I don't want you showing up thinking that you look badly, that you are not deserving of having this amazing, special holiday. So I want you to ask yourself this question. How do you want to feel during the holidays? I really want you to get clear about this. How do you want to feel? Not what are you feeling right now? Not what am I feeling about my body? How do you want to feel about your body and about the holidays? How do you want to feel? 
What is that? Amazing, excited, passionate, loving, grateful that I could be with family, supportive, honoring, right? Spiritual, happy. What do you want to feel about your body? Connected, comfortable, beautiful. It's a choice whether you feel big and uncomfortable and ugly and fat and all those other names or whether you feel beautiful, confident, excited to transform your body. You can live into wanting to change your body and being where you are right now. You can live into the place of, yes, I'm excited to transform my body. Just like I'm excited to transform my fitness this next year so that I can support my back and get stronger. You can hold that and hold the place of having an amazing holiday season, feeling beautiful, wearing clothes that make you look and feel your best, feeling sexy and alive and gorgeous. But if you're speaking into, in your dialogue, inner dialogue, talking about how you're broken, how there's something wrong with you, how you're bigger than you want to be, how COVID's really messed your weight up, if you're talking about all of those things, that is going to create an unhappy holiday experience for you. Stop it. Focus on who you want to be and what you want to feel. So what did you all say you want to feel? I want to love my body. Hi, Beth. So happy to see you. So glad you're here. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Paula. Oh, love seeing you, all of you guys. Hello, everybody on the phone. Hello, hello. You want to love your bodies. Yes. So how do you do that through the holidays? How do you make that happen? What does loving your body through the holidays look like and feel like? That's the question I want you asking yourself and answering. Because if you don't know what loving yourself and liking your body feels like and looks like this holiday season, how are you going to make it happen well into next year and hit your goals that you want to hit? This is so important, everybody. You've got to be clear of how you want to feel. Create that intention. And then here's what I want you to, here's the next question. What would you have to think about yourself and your body this holiday season for you to have an awesome holiday? I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm transforming. I'm, I'm, I'm beautiful. I'm wearing clothes that make me look amazing. I'm getting my hair done. I'm getting my nails done. I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to be happy and I'm going to be focusing on my family and let my weight and my thoughts about my body go because I am awesome. I'm amazing. I am not broken. I am whole. I am complete and incredible. Those are the kind of thoughts that I want you thinking. And it doesn't mean that you can't also want to improve your health in 2022. You can. Absolutely, you can hold both. But you don't have to have hate and wanting to lose weight. You can have hope and love and respect and still wanting to transform your body this next year. But show up to events and parties and holiday experiences with your family, loving who you are, appreciating who you are, appreciating them, standing up stronger, taller, loving yourself and taking care of yourself more. Don't go in wanting to hide. Go in fully expressed, proud of who you are. Your weight is such a small part of your amazingness. Don't let that single part that maybe you want to adjust and change take you out of having an amazing holiday. It's not okay. It's amazing that you're here take advantage of that. So, you know, like a couple years ago, wouldn't so many of us have been like, oh my gosh, it'd been nice to be with people. <laughs> and now we get to be with people. Celebrate them, love them, connect, share. Move out of thinking about you and your body and move into 
having a holiday that you really enjoy with the people that you love. But you really need to remember that you create what you believe. Your beliefs create what it is, what manifests, what gets to manifest for you. What's happening here all day long inside of your head is what then becomes your reality. When you say, oh, I don't deserve this, or this is hard, or this is difficult, or I can't, or I don't want to do that, those that gets to be your reality. So this holiday season, have your reality be, I'm awesome. I get to celebrate with my family. I get to be with my family. Wear clothes that make you feel and look beautiful because you are. And know that those thoughts that you're practicing right now become your reality. And they keep becoming your reality. But if you're so, you know, it's like I've heard from so many of you, so many of you who have been conditioned by parents who put you on diets, who put you on programs that made it so hard for you to love your body and think that you were okay just because you exist. They wanted to change you. And so you walk around wanting to change yourself, thinking you're not good enough. It's time to end that. And you know, the more you think about you not being good enough, the more you create that in your mind, in your actions, in your weight. So it's time to create a different reality for your body and your health this holiday season by thinking about who you want to be and how you want this holiday season to feel. So I just want you to take a moment. I want you to take a big breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, and feel into what do you want your holiday season to feel like. What is joy? What is pleasure? What is connectedness? What does gratitude feel like inside of your body? Or whatever it is that you want to feel. Bring that into your heart. Bring that into your body. Allow yourself to feel that right now as you're getting ready and thinking about things that need to get done. Just bring the joy into your body. The pleasure. Let that simmer in. Beautiful. And what are the thoughts and what are the words and what are the phrases that you're going to use over the next several days to help support you to feel beautiful, look beautiful, be confident in yourself and feel that confidence as you move into the holidays? Okay. Remember, suffering is optional. Suffering and hating yourself is optional. This holiday season, let's not create that as an option. So you've got to create what it is you want to feel and what it is that you want to think. And then you go live in to having the most joyful holiday you can possibly have with the people that love you and you love. Go honor yourself. And I am so happy to see so many I'm here. Hi, Roberta. So fun seeing your pictures. You and your hubby, so cute. And I love the, um, I love the beach vibe. It's so, so fun. Paula, you're going to honor hunger, honor your body beautifully. Great. That's going to feel so good and in alignment for you. That is wonderful. Your phrase is going to be, I love myself, I trust my body, I am worthy. Heck yes, you are. I want to feel pride versus embarrassment. Okay, Beth, what does pride feel like for you? What is pride? What is that energy? Can you feel that in your body? Can you feel pride? And then what I want you to do is think about the Words and phrases that give you the pride, that make you feel that pride, okay? That's how you show up in a way where you feel pride for your body. Confident, sexy, beautiful. Oh, I love it. Lori, happy holidays. Nice to see you on here. Marcia, you're so welcome. Looking forward to being more involved and attending the group meetings. Yay! 
I'm happy to have you do that too. Well, Wednesdays we'll be moving this over to Zoom. For all you members, most of you are members and you're always on here and I thought, I wanna coach you during this time. Let me give you that gift of being able to coach you on Wednesdays. It'll be the first three Wednesdays of the month. I'm gonna coach you. So we'll do this on Zoom right? Doesn't that sound fun? And then you'll just know Mondays were together, Wednesdays were together, and some Fridays were together. And then there'll be just some things scattered in throughout. Okay. Isn't that fun? What we're going to do this next year. Yeah. And then just remember in January, we're going to be doing a course called defining, designing, and crafting your thin within life. We're going to go from you know that desire of where you want to lose weight and you just hope you're going to make it happen? We're going to go from, instead of hoping, we're going to actually create it. Let's create it. Let's look at your blocks. Let's just look at what you need to get in front of for the year to create the body you desire. And you'll know you're getting in front of them because we will be devising a plan for you. Okay? So that's what we're going to do in January. I'm so, so, so excited for that. So that's where we'll start in January, really looking at, okay, here's where I'm at. And for some of you, you've lost 80, 70, 60, 50, 30, 20, wherever you're at. And then it's like, okay, let's look at, okay, here's where you're at. Here's where you want to go. And then let's look at who you want to be. And let's go from there. We're going to go backwards, everybody. A lot of times you think about the actions that you want to take to lose weight versus being the person you want to be that has a thin within life, that is thin, that feels amazing. From there, we create the plan, okay? Very different way of doing it. We go from what actually creates the manifestation, which are your thoughts and feelings. But know your thoughts and feelings are totally optional. We can change them, shift them. We can't always shift and change circumstances. We can't always change who's going to show up at your holiday parties or who's going to be there or what grandma's going to say or what mom's going to think or say. That's none of your business. What is your business is what you are thinking and feeling about yourself. When you have such strong thinking and feeling about yourself, what other people say may tinge a little bit if it doesn't feel exactly great, but it doesn't in the same way when you hold that very strong self-concept of knowing who you are and who you're creating and who you're being and how far you've come already this year, okay? So have yourself an amazing holiday. January, we are going to join forces in a different way, right? And I just want you, all of you who are members to note that on Wednesdays, we're going to move out of here and we're going to move into Zoom. And of course, I'll send you an email letting you know about that. Okay. All right. I'm declaring my commitment to your program and we'll enroll. <laughs> Beth, I would love to have you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Here, here. I can send you the link. Um, And we're doing some really, I'm redesigning like so much, Beth. It's going to look we're working real hard to get a new website up for my members here. Um, that's how you can join. If you want to join, there's the link. Um, I would love to have you. Yeah, this group of women is, Beth, is just the most, I mean, as you can see, they're just the most loving, kind, open. When I do coaching, I just did coaching last night, and it was just so special to be with all of you. We cry together, we laugh together, we cuss together, we everything together, and it's just so real and open and genuine because that's how I like to be with all of you, just real. Let's just be real together as we transform our health together and do it in a really beautiful way. So, okay, let's end this today reminding yourself two things, one, you are what you believe you are. And you manifest from those beliefs. You manifest from those beliefs. So the beliefs you have right now about the holidays, about your body, if they're not loving, kind, positive, I want you to take a little bit of time and ask yourself, how do you want to feel during the holidays? And what are the words that will help you feel that way? What are the thoughts? right? And then you go have yourself an amazing holiday. And I'll be back with all of you. For those of you who are my members, I'll be with you all 
for our last week of the eight weeks, eight pounds down um, on Monday. And then the following Monday, we'll get right into January. All right. Big hugs, everybody. Sending you lots of love. Talk to you soon. Bye.